Hello everyone, it is me, Matsmus, and thank you once again for joining me on today's video. We're looking at air defense today and a rather interesting vehicle which I have been putting to the side to look over a little bit. As always, folks, a bit of a disclaimer for you. Any information or facts that are placed inside this video are purely that of opinions from myself or from information that I have found on a public forum online. So, of course, anything that I do mention in this video is not 100% hearsay. It is purely just an informative educational video, and I am not a subject uh, matter expert. So, please take that in stride and just to give you a bit of a heads up that, you know, uh, my opinions are just that of my own and no one else's. So, we are talking about the M48 Chaparral, which, you know, I've always seen in video games as the old school air defense weapon system, but I thought I'd actually start looking into it. And give you guys a bit of an idea of what it's about. So, the M48 Chaparral is a self propelled short range SAM system employing a missile based on the Raytheon A9 Sidewinder air to air missile. Yes, I'm sure many of you are a little surprised me saying that, that the A9 was actually a missile that could be launched from the ground too, and it took me a little bit off surprise. It was the only truly mobile weapon system of its class in the time ever fielded by the US military, as the Avenger, the LAV AD, and the linebacker vehicles can only fight in a stationary position. The US Army's 1959 FAAD, or Forward Area Air Defense Program, was originally built around the MIM-46 Mauler SAM, but the Mauler's numerous problems prompted the Army to pursue an interim system. As a result, the subsequent IFAAD, or Interim Forward Area Air Defense Program, was initiated in 1963, with the intent to create a stock gap for the Mauler until its flaws could be corrected. The IFAAD program opted in 1965 for a missile based on the beautiful Sidewinder missile that is utilized on most fighter aircraft today. It is carried on the launcher and mounted on a track transport vehicle. The resulting system was developed in 1967. It was comprised of four basic components. The MIM-72 Chaparral missile, the M-54 launcher and the M-730 vehicle that carries them which was derived from the M-548. Collectively these were also referred to as the M-48 fire unit. Following approval and procurement from the US Army, the 1st Chaparral Battalion was fielded in 1969. The Chaparrals were gradually transferred to the US Army National Guard in the late 1980s and finally retired entirely in 1998, though the system remains in service with several other nations worldwide. Interestingly, because of its commonality with the AIM-9D, the early model Chaparral missiles were produced from the US Navy, as the AIM-9D being the Navy variant of the Sidewinder. As the development of the Sidewinder and Chaparral diverged in the 1970s, later models were produced by the new Ford Aerospace. The first model of missile, the MIM-72 Alpha, was directly derivative from the AIM-9D Sidewinder. Its only significant structural differences from the AIM-9D are that there are only two fins on the MIM-72 Alpha that have rollerons, and the other two are non-moving. The seeker head of the MIM-72 Alpha is derived from the FIM-33 Red-Eye and FIM-43 Red-Eye Manpads missiles. As a result, this is highly susceptible to flares, infrared jamming and sun glare. The MIM-72 Alpha is propelled by a Mark 50 solid fuel rocket motor and has a top speed of Mach 1.5 with a ceiling of 3,000 meters and a maximum range of 9,000 meters. Its warhead is a Mark 48 11 kg continuous rod munition and its minimum effective altitude and range is 25 meters and 500 meters respectively. The latest model of the missile was the MIM-72G. In addition to an M121 smokeless motor first introduced for the E model and the new M817 directional Doppler fuse and the M250 blast fragmentation warhead were introduced also on the C models and the G models, which also boasted the RSS or Rosette Scan Seeker, a seeker head derived from that of the FIM-92B Stinger missile. The RSS seeker head substantially improved the Chaparral's guidance and sensitivity, allowing for head-on engagements and also giving the missile significant resistance against flares and infrared jamming systems. As a result, the MIM-72G is thus unquestionably one of the most capable Chaparral missiles that were ever built. The MIM-72G is propelled by the Hercules M121 smokeless solid rocket motor. It has the same top speed and ceiling, but the range has been increased to 30,000 meters. The new M250 warhead is a 12.6 kg annular blast munition. The minimum effective altitude and range of the MIM-72G remain unchanged from the original MIM-72 Alpha. The M48 vehicle lacks either search or targeting radar and relies on a separate radar set for the long range detection and tracking of aerial targets. It does however possess an IFF system. It is unclear whether the Chaparral was ever used in combat though the US military has never launched one in anger. 
Though given the performance of the Vietnam War era Sidewinder missiles, it would likely demonstrate a very good ratio for kill hits. Okay, so I guess it's time to go back in time a little bit and actually look at the overall review video that was produced by the US Army back in the day, and I always love watching these vintage, old school, you know, promotional videos. So let's take a look and see what the US Army has to say about this amazing missile system. Chaparral Vulcan Air Defense System meets this Army need of forward battle area protection against low-flying enemy aircraft. This highly mobile and versatile tactical system features a supersonic infrared homing missile and a rapid-fire, high-performance Vulcan gun system mounted on the existing M113 family of vehicles. The vehicles are powered by diesel engines with automatic transmissions that will move the Chaparral and Vulcan along at up to 40 miles an hour with a cruising range of 300 miles. Aside from being air transportable, they are capable of swimming inland bodies of water. The fire control is based on a newly improved lead computing site using data from a range-only radar. The Chaparral and Vulcan gunners are alerted by the advance warning from the forward area alerting radar, FAR, which is integrated with the two fire units. It is capable of detecting moving targets at very low altitudes. Part of the gun itself was adapted from an existing aircraft-mounted weapon. It is an electrically driven 20-millimeter cannon with six rotating barrels on the Gatling gun principle. To meet the special needs of airborne and air mobile units, there is still another version of Vulcan designed to be towed by any number of vehicles. The Chaparral missile, adopted from the Navy's Sidewinder 1C, is just under 10 feet long and weighs slightly less than 200 pounds. Four missiles are carried on the launch rails while traveling. Eight additional missiles are stored in the vehicle. The Chaparral normally carries a five-man crew in the passenger compartment. After the chaparral is driven into a tactical area, the blast shield is then positioned to protect the vehicle from effects of the missile firing. Each observer is equipped with a field telephone and deploys to an area providing a good, unobstructed view of potential targets. chief and the driver work as a team to coordinate pre-firing activities and monitor radio messages. The battle sequence is initiated when an observer locates a target and relays, using the clock system, appropriate information to the gunner. Typically, this information includes both azimuth and elevation coordinates. When the gunner sights the target, he proceeds to establish IR acquisition by slewing the mount. Using the sight reticle pattern superimposed on the target image, an audio tone is received to indicate target contact. The gunner begins the launch sequence by pressing the trigger on the control handle, thus generating the firing signal. As soon as the sequencing is complete, the final signal is received from the fire unit, initiating rocket motor ignition. Within a few milliseconds, the missile clears the launcher and flies under the control of its internal guidance system to intercept the target. Chaparral Vulcan, a powerful twosome, effectively combined to provide the Army with a forward area defense system that is mobile, reliable, and lethal. So there you have it folks, the M48 Chaparral missile system. For me, I was very intrigued by this weapons platform for the fact that it uses the Sidewinder missile, which of course, we have a lot of respect for, for those who serve in the air. And, uh, you know, the ability for it to be mounted on just about anything. Vehicle ships, trailers, stationary sites. Um, it is not a cheap system, you know. It's about $1.5 million for the entire setup and around about $40,000 a missile. So that ain't cheap. But it does go to show that countries around the world are still utilizing this air defense platform and trusting in it for what it needs to do. And that's 
it's saying something about how capable it must be to, you know, serve those countries. Um, but that's, you know, uh, my own subjective opinion. That doesn't mean that's factual. Um, anyway, folks, I hope you enjoyed today's video and learned a little bit about this weapons platform. Uh, if you have any questions, leave in the comment section below. And uh, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Please feel free to leave me a like and a comment. And if you do want to support my channel, go check out my Patreon account. It is in the description box below. And thank you so much to those of you who have been or wish to in the future to support my channel on that platform. All the best. Bye-bye.